general. By the yeah, way, I, 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 I like your layout here. It's very Crimson Throny. Yeah. Am I to right I, now? It's, it's, it's Sorry, what did you say the password and... is this time? Do I have to put in anything new or just hit join the campaign? Uh, just join it. It still says homebrew breath of fire. No, no, no. You, you gotta, you gotta s select the new campaign. Oh, where is that? I don't know, Pluto. You've done it before. Can you can when you hit join it? campaign, type in deadly secret, no spaces into the search field under join cloud game, and it should show up as deadly. What's the password? Around. Is it the same oh, or is okay. it different? Yeah, it's the same. Okay. okay. What one sec? Uh, where where are we looking? What do we? How do I? So search in? just search like deadly for define the game. It'll fail to connect and say you need a password, and then type in six 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 for password. This is in fantasy grounds. It same, is a fantasy same thing. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Oh, oh, okay. Sorry, I thought we were changing to a new. Um... No. Nope. Same. An urban same based BTT. campaign set in the city of Corvosa. So. It's urban based, but is it going to be a like a politicky kind of game, or is it just going to be urban adventuring? I don't even read the player's guide. I Not guess. Not really politics. It does say it presents opportunities for intrigue based characters to shine, uh, according to this. But yeah, I mean that's a little um... vague. Deadly Yet there remain plenty of old fashioned dungeon crawls and dangerous combats awaiting as well. As with all campaigns, having a balanced party through regards combat prowess, magical ability, and intrigue skills will go a long ways towards success. I don't know. What I don't, are you guys feeling? I don't think it's as... Uh, I don't think it's like War for the Crown, <laughs> if no. that's what you're asking. But, uh, so, the my lead candidate for what I was thinking of playing is a uh, investigator, but... Um, oh, you're playing an investigator? But I don't know for sure if that's what I'll play because I, I was leaving it open. I also might play a bolt ace, for example, if we need more. I feel like we need more combat Is prowess. It time for me to play a wizard again? I don't know. Make my oh, I want what, fifth wizard. Yeah, Zadari was talking about maybe playing a wizard as well. Oh. I, I don't care. You have multiple I just say, like, maybe. Like, I just think I do like, have multiple wizards. No, she's saying we could have. Uh, I don't think we um, have multiple wizards. We could all be wizards. <laughs> Why not? We tried doing uh we tried doing a Pluto, wizard and your... arcanist and then my arcanist died. Pluto, <laughs> is your is your game going to happen at any point with the wizard school? Uh fuck if I know, probably not, but Okay, yeah. so I no, no nothing planned. No. So I yeah, I, cuz I've been wanting to play another wizard, but also I played wizard in this group last time and maybe Pluto's, I should play it in uh... another group. Pluto's wizard school was invaded by an evil wizard, but they're not fucking idiots, so they just all cast the you know, Avada Kedavra on him, and there was no <laughs> conflict. What Pluto? What are some cool, uh, like three quarter classes, like partial cast or partial? Like, I guess there's Magus, but besides Magus, uh, it's like the Blood Rager. Or well, Blood Rager is only a fourth. Is a it's a that's a one fourth caster. Bard. Well, I, I sorry, I don't mean one fourth. I don't mean three. I just mean like three quarter, three quarter, uh, Marshall. Oh, like a three quarter BAB progression class. Yeah. Uh, well, Blood Rage has full something BAB, to supplement. So that I, that I haven't played a partial. I mean, Inquisitor, I guess. Oh, Inquisitor, that could be fun. What I forget again. What is like the the general mood cool of Corvosa? It's like gangy, isn't it? Corvosa is, I think it's like, almost like Chel Cheliac's light, isn't it? Yes, yeah. it's, a, it, it's a Chelaxian colony that is independent, but still retains strong ties to Cheliax. Okay. Is this a game where we're supposed to be good? No. I mean, you can, you can be any okay. alignment you want, but... <sighs> no evil? I mean, you can be evil if you want, but like, just keep in mind that like, uh, it's hard for players to work together. What do you want us to be when somebody's evil? You know what I mean. So it's like, I just need you guys to work together and have a reason to continue the campaign. And that's all I ask. 
if you want to play a character is on the edge of evil, then so, that's entirely up to you. But just keep in mind that your other players may not want your character in the party or, you know, things like that. So it's just don't just play with an evil character because they're your friend and they're in your group. If you guys don't like the character, kick them out of your freaking party. That's all I'm saying. So <laughs> make the, that's make up the to player you. <laughs> roll a new character. Yeah, that well, means. I, admittedly, I'd rather not play. Muscle, that's up to you. Uh, I'd rather not play with evil characters. In the yeah, uh, yes. yeah, I'm down to not play evil here. Well, yeah, because my understanding is from the vague spoiler or spoiler-free like player's guide. That it sounds like the most important thing is, or at the beginning, you need to have a reason to go after what's his name here, G Gator or whatever the fuck his name is. Your his. your campaign trait, Gadrin Lom. Yep. All the campaign traits. You all have a sketchy to, to past. Long. Yeah. So you're all wanting to deal with Gadrim Lom. Long term, though, you need to also have a reason to care about Corvosa. To like, sort of along the lines of in Hell's Rebels, where you need to care about. Um, Kentargo. And Kentargo. It's along the same I lines. I wish we could actually go back to that game. Well, I'm supposed to give you guys reasons. And so, so just have faith in, in me on doing that one. But. But yeah, you're you're once you finish your agenda. Yeah, that's once you deal with Gidrim Lom, which because I think I remember reading a criticism about it in like a review where it said like for some people it can be tough once you deal with Gidrim Lom because he he's not like he's not book right. sick boss. Spoiler alert. Yeah. Um, <laughs> so. You end up dealing with them like relatively early in the full oh, campaign, yeah. so you need to also have a reason to, like. But I'll I'll give you those reasons. Yeah, <laughs> I'll I'll make that happen. Which um, speaking of, while you guys are talking, I need to get a shitload of rolls out of you guys. So we'll just start with one person. Who wants to start rolling first? What? You need to roll some dice. Wait, roll for yeah. what? For heroin. For heroin. Yeah. For heroin. Well, how are we doing? Um... The hero deck has a very prominent role. Uh, how, how are we doing stats in this one? Uh, twenty point buy. Just a twenty point buy. That's what 3D6, I. Three d six, top to bottom. Take what? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yep, I'm down with that. I was Jesus wondering about bottom. rolling because, like, we're all here. I have here rolls. first. So is it Uriam? Sure. Well, I don't. I don't like the three. I mean, I just one. don't know what I I'm like rolling for though. Like, the lowest. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's card. I don't know what you're deck. rolling for either. Yeah. Well, okay. So since I don't have a deck to draw cards, I have you roll dice, and that'll determine which card is drawn. But what, what I won't be telling you guys what card is drawn until session one, when I actually do the Haro reading, because it's going to be thematic. Okay. What? Uh, what do you want us to roll for that? So, um, only one person at a time. <laughs> Anyways, you guys can, yeah, keep talking while he's doing it. But, um, so, Jerry, I need you to roll nine d6s. Uh, okay. Like, all together or one at a time? It doesn't matter. One at a time. Just roll, 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 uh, roll. D6. Wait. How do you... Is it slash roll? Well, I mean, oh, you wait. can roll them all together. I, I, I mean, I can it. read, but it's uh, small print, so it would be... D6. Yeah, because I'd have to do like there's no like nine. Yeah, we'll do this mm -hmm. one, two, three. Okay, I think that's nine. Yes, I got six, six, six. Just for you, secret. Nice. So if you just pick up the dice and right click, it adds it. And then one. a nine d ten. Oh. 90 uh six eight ten okay i got a ten and a one and a one okay. yeah yeah okay okay so what was it ten three three Four. The first number was actually a one. Uh, sorry, yeah, one, ten, three, three, four. Okay. 
Okay, and then Zidrium, I need you to roll a 1d10. If you roll a 10, I need you to roll again until you don't roll a 10. Okay. Or you can roll a 1d9 if you know how to type in. I don't know how to do that. A There's four. not a 10. <laughs> so you have rolled, you have drawn the card, the dance. I want you to remember that. You don't have to, but I'll remind you. But that's the that's dance. the card that you have okay. drawn. The dance, which is a lawful good dexterity card. Is that what I should play? No, that's just the card that... Because uh... now I'm going to play lawful good dexterity. So every book, which is six, we're going to do this process. Okay. And it's going to play, play a lawful part. lawful good dexterity. The cards have spoken. Oh my God. <laughs> that's fine. And uh, <laughs> it's going to play a part in... Um... The harrowing is going to play a part in each book. And and I, I, gosh, I know how players are because a lot of times when you guys are rewarded things, you don't actually use them. But I need you to use the harrowing stuff because when the harrowing happens, it's going to give you points that are going to allow you to use certain things X amount of times. And those points go away after each book, which I'll remind you guys this, but... Um, so having a harrowing card reader is card reader lol. Having a harrowing read is going to give you guys uh some insight bonuses, I guess you can say. Yeah, it plays a big part. So let me write that down. Okay. The dance. That's I'll probably do some kind of a uh, deck space marshal then, in that case. I mean for party to know. Cool. Okay. Uh, okay. Well, now I got Star Fox. Star Fox. Maybe like a partial martial, not full nine d sixes. Pluto, what what silly class can I get Dex to damage on? Uh, Anything rogue. really. I'm gonna put a bunch of rogue. Do you Star say Fox? rogue? Unchained rogue gets it by default to level three. Okay, I'm playing an Unchained Rogue. Do you I guess I'm not some variant. Oh, wait, what? Why not? Does I mean, they're kind of similar. Kind of, but... Yeah, they kind of do the same thing. Oh, I won't do that then. I don't care. Uh, okay, we'll uh, skip Star Fox well. for now. Matt, are you here? That would be good. Yeah, I'm here. Uh, nine D6. Is full BAB, Ooh, I think. Or it is full BAB, yeah. Which is fine. Virtue is playing... Paladin as well. Wait, 96s. what? Virtuous mm -hmm. Bravo Paladin. It's I'm, I'm writing this down. It's basically <laughs> Paladin and Swashbuckler like combined into one class. Virtuous Four, Bravo two, Paladin. Five. Okay, I'll look into that or Swashbuckler. Two, Virtuous Bravo three, Paladin actually is something I was looking at maybe playing, but I was like, I already three, played Paladin five, lately. Because the only Paladin I played was the one I played. Okay, and then 9d10. Mm -hmm. Well, they get the the biggest part of Swashbuckler, which is the parry and repost stuff. Oh, but, I want this. This is good. But this is powerful in combat, they're also too. A, yeah, they're also a Paladin. Uh, and you can also <laughs> smite evil. Yes, your smite evil doesn't give you the AC bonus, I think, that the regular But I don't need does. the AC Matt, if I'm there? gonna parry. Yeah. 90 True. times. I think that's why they nerf the smite on it. Oh, they do? Okay. That makes sense. 90 times. Okay. Oh, yeah, the AC thing. But you still get the attack bonus, right? I think there's attack yes. bonus on smite. Yeah, you still get the attack bonus. So it helps my parries. Uh, I believe so. And then there's a stance you can or a style you can use that gives you more parries if you have the parry repose uh class feature uh maybe i don't know anything about that but okay and then that. you can roll a 1d9 or a 1d10 and re-roll 10 until you get not normally your parries a 1D9 are just... or a 1d10 yeah if you know how to well, roll a 1d9 you can type backslash die 1d9 or you can just roll a 1d10 and then re-roll it if it's a... Yeah, there you go. Two. Matt rolls a neutral good dexterity card, the cricket. Choo, choo. That's going to play a part in our harrowing reading later. Okay. Uh, Pluto, 96.
Uh, is that nine? So that's twenty. Let's try that again. Five, six, seven, eight, nine. And then ninety tens. Ninety tens. What? I only rolled nine of them. Actually, I didn't roll any tens. Look at that. Hmm. I was supposed to roll ninety of them, and I didn't roll a single one. <laughs> but you got a nice round. You're number. so funny, Pluto. Actually, no, I got. I did get a single one. Look at that. It's true. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Pluto, 1d9 or a 1d10, reroll 10. Look at that, I don't roll 10s. Five. Pluto has rolled a chaotic evil dexterity uh -oh. card the Demon's Lantern. The Demon's Lantern. I think that's perfect for my edgy investigator who's not going to be chaotic. What was the cricket though. again? Neutral decks. I don't know. Neutral decks. Yeah. Oh, we're the all cricket, rolling. It's neutral. Cards, good. Yeah, yeah, they're they're, they're all, all dex cards. Yeah, this well. <laughs> book one is dex cards. You're correct. Very good. Very good. How observant of you. All right, <laughs> <laughs> Star Fox, ninety sixes. Come on. Wait, I heard him right. He's here. Yeah, yep. yeah, I'm here. Oh, okay. You okay? Very good. And then uh, nine d tens. And then a D9? Yeah. We rolled 10 D10s, actually, anyway. Uh, that's true. I rolled one extra D10. <laughs> Did you? OK. Yeah, it don't matter. Just ignore the last three. You still technically rolled nine of them. You just rolled an extra one. Mm -hmm. So we take away the three. Because I got a one one. Yeah, okay. And then you rolled a one, which is a lawful evil dexterity book, the book, lol. The Avalanche. Ooh. Lawful evil, chaotic evil, neutral. We've got a good party going here. You guys all <laughs> drew a different card, which is neat. That's neat. I think that's neat. Okay. Been pretty uh unusual if we hadn't actually either. Enough cards that. Well, it's an interesting thing is, is like at the beginning, if you, you know how like Paizo can be sometimes very extremely wordy because they, they want you to do it like this very specific way, but everybody misinterprets how they are saying it. Anyways, yeah. the, uh, the, the debate was on whether or not all the players draw from a pile of nine and they all get a different card. Or if they all draw from the same nine cards and could potentially get the same card. But if you read it correctly, it's you guys all draw from the same nine cards and could potentially get the same card. But Are the I could first have numbers shuffles. Is that all? That, is that what that is? So what it is is each card has an alignment and an ability suit. So the D10s are going to determine what the alignment or the uh, abil yeah the alignment is, and then the D6s are going to determine what the ability suit is, and then that's one card right there. So a D10 and oh, a D6 okay. together will make up one card, and then I'll have mm. nine cards in total. Huh, okay. Yeah. So I get to figure all of that out, and I get to figure out what your guys' present and future is, and then when you guys get your backstories. I would like you guys to message those to me as soon as you kind of come up with them. It doesn't have to be a lengthy backstory, just s to well, explain. Put up some website. 
your um, trait. <laughs> yeah. the, the trait, oh god. The trait that you guys choose, you know, like, just build a backstory around that if you want, or go even deeper if you want. It, it, I don't really want to read a novel, but if you want to give me a novel, then okay, I'll pick and choose something from it. But um, <laughs> I will want your guys' backstory so I can at least include a past reading and have it somewhat accurate or meaningful to your character. So I'm thinking I'm playing the investigator and yeah, I was going to do the the missing child and it wouldn't be strictly like, uh, cause it does say you could be someone that you were charged with like protecting or something. But yeah. I was thinking more along the lines of like, he was hired basically, except that he not really. Cause the person hired didn't actually have any money and like, he guys like, well, I feel bad now. But um, it could even be one of the uh, could even be one of the PCs if they wanted to also do that trait. Then I could be like, well, I'm the who you hired. But um, because, yeah, I was planning to have him be like kind of a like he'd have like he'd be like a down nose, like kind of like noir style detective sort of what I'm, <clears throat> how I'm picturing him. I will get um, back to you with that, Pluto, if maybe we want to have some shared backstory. Up to you, but that's that's where I'm looking at doing. Uh, but yeah, so he's he's looking for the miss for a missing kid. Well, so you're gonna have to be her. willing to work together. So, yep. I mean, I'm that, a pally, yeah. like lawful so good. Rogue. Then, okay. like, I'd be looking for a missing kid. That seems reasonable. Yeah, like it fits. You guys don't have to know each other at the very beginning. Um, I'm going yep, to. You just all have to have. It have you, yeah. You just all just want to get this guy. We were looking for for Gatorin. Yep. So, Gatorade. It's got electrolytes. <laughs> Maybe I'll play a shaman. Shaman's a pretty cool class. That's a caster I haven't played in a while, and it was as I really read fun, this yeah. guide here. It says that the there are Shawanti tribes like outside of oh, the yeah. city that would accommodate it, and. If the character was leaving their tribes to live in Corvosa for a while, I think it would make sense if they the reason they left was because they fell in love with someone in Corvosa. So like this character would probably have like abandoned <laughs> their shaman training to go and chase after their love and then to have that uh, loved one murdered. Oh, the love lost trait. Yeah. I can dig that, yeah. They use their fledgling shamanism to try and hunt down whoever was responsible for it. Gives me a reason to play a caster. True. <laughs> I'm glad that somebody's playing a caster so I don't have to do it. <laughs> <laughs> What was the durium going to be thinking about? Uh, Pally, that is kind of martially Pally. I mean, Pally's at, already martially, but yeah. He was looking at maybe doing the Virtuous Bravo. Virtuous Bravo. It's like a swashbuckler paladin. I can still swap over to Bolt Ace as well, depending on what you want to play. I am completely open. That's why I'm just going through the different classes to see yeah. what is... I mean, I'm Pally, so I can actually be kind of a healer, too. So I don't have to have like a dedicated cleric or whatever. Well, that's why I'm, I'm just shaman looking to see well. what you give up. Oh, and Shaman, yeah. You lose your mercy and you lose your spell casting, but you keep your lay on hands. Yeah, mercy is actually a pretty big yeah. thing to lose, I guess. But so we may have issues fine. with like uh, crowd control type stuff. But yeah, we have shaman. So and the shaman is oracle it witch. Of, it can do a lot of things. But that it's just depends on how. Yeah, but it just depends shaman, on how he's Shaman is to build a it. prepared prepared divine spellcaster, so. Um, they just have a different list. Although you can take a favorite class bonus, depending on what race you are, to pick up cleric spells. So 
Um, yeah, it's shaman's super actually really good. interesting too because depending on you can also use your wandering spirit to pick up the lore spirit and then get arcane spells onto your list too, which is pretty silly. But so they actually are one of the most flexible casters in the game in terms of like what they can do. Shaman is definitely like top tier caster. Is what I'm saying. Yep. yep. Definitely up there with mm. cleric and wizard. Yeah. And they're really cool. Like <laughs> I, I like shamans. I wish I don't think I've actually played one, but the last I time had I played a lot of back in Rain Winter. Yeah. I know uh Zagreb oh, played a shaman. Right. Yeah, and Mantis's game. Mm-hmm. It was very, very fun. Well, weren't you playing the Adler? Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Time to play a, yeah, a, whatchamacallit, an Adlet Shaman again. Hmm. Hmm. Well, if it's a Shawanti character, though, it's probably just going to be human. Yeah, my guy's going to be human as well. I will likely be human. Let's all be boring humans. <laughs> I'm going to be an exciting human. I haven't fully come up with uh, what I'm going to name my character. Wait, how do I click this link? Oh, there we go. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, no, I was just sharing. That's the site that you've showed me for my backstory. Yeah. <laughs> Well, according you know, when I clicked it, you're playing an elf paladin from a foggy peninsula who doesn't hey. believe in, who doesn't believe in magic ever. It's a I lose I lose my spell casting and I'm a paladin. Wait, wait, it works. <laughs> <laughs> can you can you save that for me, Pluto? Because I can't get it. I already closed it. Ah, uh, okay. I don't know what foggy peninsula you'd be from, but <laughs> I don't know what that means. Yeah, but. Yeah, I mean, maybe, maybe, okay, there's, there's, we're on the coast in Corvosa, so there's, there's probably a foggy peninsula somewhere nearby. I don't know what my last name is going to be, but my first name is going to be Cliff, I've decided. Cliff? Cliff, yeah. Oh my god. Maybe like Cliff Hardy. That sounds like Such a name. Such a dorky name, Cliff. Oh. <laughs> it's, it's perfect. Oh man. Not as good as um, as a uh, what was that one character in our? Oh, that's actually series? apparently the name of. <laughs> that's the name of a book series. That's probably why I'm thinking of it. Then, that's the name of a book series about someone who is a insurance company investigator turned private eye. That's so. That's a little too on the nose. So oh, I can geez. still use the name Cliff, but it's got to not. It can't be. I got to use a different last name. That's probably where I got it from. Subconsciously, because oh, no. I have never heard You're of this book ripping series. Them off. Copyright. Copyright infringement. Cliff Duval von Leinen Hugel. I would say play a character who used to be part of like um they 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 were a, a private in the military, but then they left and now they're a detective and their name is Private Eileen. Ugh. <laughs> huh. I don't know. Are, are all Shawantis human? Yes, it's a human ethnicity. Damn. You could still be half elf or half orc, though. That that's true. True. Chauncey half orc and elves are pretty close to each other. Well, they're and, neighbors. And also, Shawanti and like orcs have like animosity. So a half orc Shawanti could be interesting too. Yeah, maybe. But I just came from playing a half orc. Oh, that's true. Hmm. 
Yeah, I'm I'm pretty excited about this uh this pally with re- Perry repost. Yeah, it's it, it it looks a lot of fun like that archetype. Yeah, and uh it fills the gap of needing maybe some strong martial like or combat characters. Can I convince the group to do um uh rolling uh for stats or are we just going to stick to the same uh I'd rather do point by personally, but I feel like I since know. I have a build I want to play, I'd rather do point by. If I didn't have a build I wanted to play, I'd be fine rolling stats. Like if you, you ask me this get question, really high stats. I could get really low stats. Every and time this conversation comes up, I remember playing Ziku, and it was awful. Yeah, <laughs> I. Yeah, I I don't. Want we also you guys have to such a like we have such a small party too that I don't think rolling for stats is as good of an idea. Because, like, we all kind of need to be significant. I mean... And not have, like, big power gaps. If you want. Every time rolling for stats I mean, happens, party, somebody okay. gets gimped. They always feel left out. And a lot, sometimes, a lot of times, it was me. Or you can just hear it in some people's voices. And then they're like, oh, well, now I have to make a character like this. And I can't play what I want. You know, so I'd rather us not Yeah, do exactly. That. I don't want to even risk it because there's no reason to. Oh man, yeah. only twenty points. Ugh, oh. I don't know if I can play the character that I. No, I had play. way. I got way worse luck last I've time. I've seen I some people roll. roll some pretty bad. Shit. It was. Um, it was pretty bad. Uh, let me see if I can find this character. So I mean, at the time I rolled stats was Raziel, and I had absolutely disgusting stats. Yeah, I mean, a lot of times that happens too, where somebody gets like absurd stats. Right, and, and that, then it really like, We had like a that. fight, and I just one shot the boss. It wasn't like a big boss, but like the main combat of the campaign, I just one shot it. Yeah. With I pure think for like short campaigns, else, like, was... like rolling stats might be fun. No. I How... want you guys to die. It's going to be a long campaign, but you're probably going to die. But you know. Oh, those aren't bad right there. How are you going to be uh, building your shaman? That's pretty good. How am I going to build it? I mean, there's so many. Well, I just mean like, options. were you going to be do? Were you intending to be on in the healer role or an alternate role? Like a, I was not intending to be a healer, but the You're cool not, thing about shamans is yeah. that they can just do it anyway. Well, I know they, they can, can do, do it. Do a but... wandering spirit to change to be healy for a day. Right, right, right. I'm just yeah. I'm leaning towards maybe being a cleric. I'll oh, do it, please. Off I love cleric. Okay. Since we have some alternate healing, um, yeah. I might try something unusual. Sure. I say with trepidation. Your builds are always like super interesting. I like that's one thing I've told Pluto. Is, oh. Like every time we play a game, you come up with these cool builds. So it's, I'm excited to see it. it. It's part of that. Like I played this so much. Like I I've gone through all the power game builds so now i'm just looking for stuff i always want i'm always careful to make sure that they can contribute but i'm always looking for the weird corner stuff it's just unusual but okay yeah, for me, I'm gonna be a the game, but usually i play we'll powerful characters happens. so is it evil what's what's oh man what's going on with the characters no no evil no, my cleric is going to be a cleric of Phrasma, but I'm going to oh, okay. choose. Um, I'm going the to negative choose energy negative build. energy. Oh, okay. Um, at third level, everything will work out. What does but that mean? It, 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 it's going to be a little tricky to begin with, but at third level, when I get my second feat, I'm going to take a feat that allows me to switch the. Um, alternate between positive and negative energy mm-hmm. so in other words he's going to say he won't be able to heal you from the start unless you're like a damp here then you're fine well no it just means i have to memorize the cure spells i can't yeah he can't well you won't be able to heal channels, channels either, the channel. yeah yeah that's right that's right unless unless we all show up with damp here's uh yeah. curse of the black blood and uh, no, 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 no. I wouldn't expect you. <laughs> and again, the only oh, reason why I'm doing no. this is because I can still heal the group, but I'm not the only source of healing. So yeah. it's not going to be a burden, as much of a burden on the group right. if I do try to go I this mean, route, So I can even technically heal people because I all have alchemist extracts. So if I take the infusion, mm. 
If I take the infusion alchemist discovery at third level or some point, then I'll even be able to do a little bit of uh, healing stuff on the side too. Okay, so it sounds like we have several sources of healing. So I, I'm, I'm going to give this a shot and see what happens. And, you know, whatever. If it doesn't work, yeah, sure, that's fine. Actually, if that's I looked fine. up Ziku, it, is actually, it was actually a decent roll by, a, by point by. It was just a really bad distribution where, like, all the points were in, like, one ability oh, right. score. Now, why do I hate Lamb? Hmm. Which trade are you taking? Yeah. Maybe I'll make the shaman like uh like he'll start off with like the fire spirit or something because like the Shawanti tribes come from the Cinderlands, right? Yeah, I think so. Or at least there's some of them do. Some of them come from the mountains too, though. Depends on which like. Uh, yeah, they're they all them. around Varicia, but they have a word for them. They're tribes basically, but they have a they have another word for them. I think the quas. That's what it is. Lyruin Claw, Squan yeah. Squan Claw. I know the Squan Claw, for example, is in the mountains. Uh, they're in like the Mindspin Mountains. Um, but yeah, I don't know a ton about them, but I know I know that that much that Squan oh. Claw is in the Mindspin Mountains. Here's a good one. Okay, Unhappy Childhood. That looks good. I can work with that. <laughs> it even fits in with the to the. The religious theme. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, let me write that down. Otherwise, I'll forget. Oh, yeah, they have the religious one where that's you found a holy symbol. Yeah, I like it. And at this point in time, I will just, uh, I'll be human unless I find a compelling reason not to be. Boring. Exciting human. I'm going to find the most exciting human uh, ethnicity that I can find. Chalaxian. <laughs> I'm going to be Cliff Salazar. That's the name I'm going to go with. Cliff. Cliff also Salazar. Yeah, I'm also human. Oh, my God. Oh, right. Just like you wanted a background, right? Yeah. I know we've, we've done sorry. games where we didn't have a single human in the party, and we had like a merfolk, a uh, Venara, a uh, Azamar, and was the other, and we had, and a Dampier. That was that was pretty funny. And then we have games like this where it's like four humans. Well, it does say like by far Carvosa is human dominated. Yeah. Actually, I don't know for sure. You don't have to be from Corvosa. Yeah, I don't know. To be wronged human, by I, I don't know a crime boss. I'm gonna have to spend a lot of time looking at builds because you know how I am. So maybe Zadurim will be the non-human in the in the party. The maybe. token, the well, token non-human. I need I mean, you guys to be less style, boring. He's the okay. token. He's the token minority in our group. <laughs> okay, less boring. Who's going to be the merfolk? Corvosa I mean, is a, 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 a river a city. <laughs> no, I have a build for Merfolk, but wait, it's not wait, a... wait, well, no, Araxi was... Wait. I'll be a half elemental. Yeah, I think uh, the time era, timeline... Who wants the fiendish story. template? Not even born yet. Well, no, this takes, this takes place, actually... So, because it's the original release date, it's based is on that, so this... There? This and... takes place like six months after, like the start of this is the six months after the start of Second Darkness or something about that. It's it's actually almost concurrent because yeah. this was this was like the third AP. It's the AP that comes after Second Darkness. Yeah. yeah I didn't so put I... in the number. And uh... this is forty seven oh eight. I, I we did extensive research on exactly when this happens. And mm -hmm. It's forty seven oh eight. So and I'm pretty sure, but I'm pretty sure like Second Darkness was like forty seven oh. Uh, seven <laughs> or something like that. Like it's maybe they're very close. Um, yeah. Um. So yeah, uh, second darkness. Oh yeah, this... it probably it either takes place at the very end of second darkness or like after second darkness. Because reign of winter is like forty seven fourteen or something. I can't remember. You know what yeah. race is really out there that no one's ever played? A wagwag. An Wagwan? android. 
an Android. Oh, I, an Android. Android. Okay. Then. So I actually thought about playing an Android as a backup character for Mantis's game. If if like hmm. my my paladin or my barbarian, I rather dies of sudden barbarian death syndrome. That might be what I, I was gonna suggest to Mantis. Hey, can I play like an Android? Could be from the uh, Numenera, Numeria. Well, well, we're not playing in Galarian in that game. So, oh, okay, fair enough. But but there's this whole thing about I don't remember what's called the Ilkarians. I think is the name of it. Is this ancient civilization, and so we're, all the magic items are finding are like old Ilkarian stuff. I'd be like, ah, just an android from that's been like offline from ancient Ilkarian has woken up or something. And I think that might be kind of cool. But I don't know if you'd be on board with it or not. But you know, I mean, we'll see if my. Maybe my maybe my brain will never die, despite having a thir- over thirty point swing between uh, rage and not rage. Even though he's only level like seven or eight. Did you take? Um, in, it's a uh, it's enduring a, rage or whatever. Uh no, but it's a spring rage build. So uh, okay, that's yeah. that's where the huge disparity in my hit points is. Is uh. It like goes a... from having no hit points to having like a lot of hit points. Yeah. Like, that's like especially bad if you're a barbarian because once he stops raging, like the well, like, that's why I was saying that's what endure uh, enduring rage. I think it's called. You you keep raging while unconscious. Okay, so I'm not getting that, but what I am getting is um, I do get to have uh, I'm going to be taking like I have the battle mystery because it's a it's a it's a not just a barbarian. It's actually a it's a uh, I'm doing the rage profit. Um, so that so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take a feat to get uh Oracle Revelations and I'm gonna use the Oracle Revelation where when I go to negative hit points I stay conscious and can like can act normally basically. So yeah, I mean honestly in some ways that makes it worse, but yeah, I, I get down to like below that point I can keep going and I can heal myself. So in theory. <laughs> we'll see what ends up happening. Yeah. I haven't died yet. So I have I'm... no idea what's going on right now. Uh well we've been in that dungeon for like four months, so yeah. I, yeah, I... the crazy but, dungeon that But we actually got worked. out of it. We actually got back out of it uh last session when it was only like three of us there. So we yes. we can go yeah, we were like, okay, well we can go back in there, I guess. But like we we ran across a colossal centipede and we're like, all right, we run away because there's only three of us. We can't fight a colossal centipede. Like, I'm not going to try it. Thing has like 20 feet of reach, probably. And probably Is that what like, we did before. That's what we did last session. You weren't there. It was just me. Oh, that's right. It was yeah. just me. Uh, me. It's me, Zedurium and. Uh, uh, Will? Dan? Or Will? No, it was One Dan. It was, I think it's Dan. Yeah, the four o'clock Dan. time slot. I get them for Sundays. Is I don't know them well enough for me to make every week. Yeah, yeah, because you missed the last like two sessions. I think now actually. No, I was there. I was there not in a row. I was there for the one before that one. Oh okay. The one where like we found the guy in the maze and. Oh yeah, you were that. there for that one, and we found a room with a chest and stairs. That went up and down into into infinity and beyond but yeah so the we went and fought we found slenderman i guess which apparently everybody else was like oh, oh yeah <laughs> oh yeah we've we fought slenderman before and i'm like did oh, we I, I i must have missed yeah. the first time but we we beat him this time and by we i mean the snake beat him and everyone else <laughs> yes, everyone else was snake. confused oh me and Zedurium got into one of those uh, confusion confusion, yeah, confusion loops where we just oh, kept attacking fun. each other. But because I had a reach weapon, we five foot stepped down the hall repeatedly and, and did what that. What level are rounds. you? We're like little six or... Yeah. No, oh, no, like no. It's because right? I had step up Pluto. Well, like, you didn't use a step up, actually. But... I didn't. Well, we we said we could have used it, but whenever we were done with the combat. Yeah, because... He didn't have his weapon out when he got hit with confusion, so he just was trying to punch me, and I had a reach weapon, so I, would, I have to move away from him to hit him every time. So at the end of the combat, when we had to run out the confusion round, it's like, well, technically, I could just step up every time you five foot step back to hit me with the reach weapon in a one wide hall. No, but then we said we said I I didn't five foot step. I just did a move. Oh, action you didn't move action because you weren't smart enough to five foot, yeah, <laughs> or something. You're too confused to five foot step. Yeah. Yeah, but that that was a silly combat. The snake literally did the whole fight. Yeah. 
the well, summoner snake. Yeah, so yeah like level the eight actual, right now, right? The actual summoner helped too because he hit he hit a slow spell, which was that a big was deal. Huge, yeah, because I think that guy had like five attacks, and then he's slowed, so now he can only do one. Yeah, I think we're level eight in that game. I believe. I th- yeah, I'm pretty sure we're like at the point where like the summoner like is capable of a lot of stuff. Like the Eidolon should be very strong by now. Yeah. Who's the summoner? Uh, Dan. Uh. It's one Mantis's friends. Yeah, I know who Dan is. Oh, okay. I forgot if how much you played if you played with him or not. You, you, oh, okay. You forgot already, huh? It's what do you mean so already? Long. It has been so <laughs> she long. Was, she was in the um the time loop campaign for a while. <laughs> oh, that's right. You were the yelly lady, the Karen. Yeah, the Karen. <laughs> no, <laughs> I was the angsty teenager. <laughs> Jeez. I, I'll be Karen when I grow up, but I can't because we're in a time loop, so... <laughs> you know the one thing i really liked about the time loop game or that i at least got out of it was the um the liam going bad is what gave me the inspiration for that second to last fight in strange aeons yeah because that was the guy that showed up to to fuck with you guys yeah, it was, it was a fun fight. He was there, yeah, trying to, whatchamacallit, erase your guys' um, weird timeline. Yeah, because we messed up time. Yeah. I miss my witch, too. She was fun. Your witch was pretty neat. Yeah, that was a fun character. I don't think I, I didn't even know back, like though. any of that stuff existed when you played it. What, like the witch class? Yeah, like what it did. the How like the, the shooting stuff worked. Like she had a gun. Oh, oh I mean, that was just a really weird multi-class. It just ended up working because there's like... Yeah, there's certain spells that you can kind of... I mean, that, that's like one of the first like really crazy multi-classes where they didn't like... In my mind, they didn't like, you know, match that well. Well, in in um, I'm playing. But you made it work uh, so well. Rain of Winter uh, with my in in yeah. in person game. I'm playing Winter Witch, which you know, uh-huh. is a bit of a mistake in that campaign, but that's fine. Yeah, because uh, everything has Tiagar. <laughs> and um and but one of the other guys is playing a uh, uh the gunslinger, which is and also so the witch... a regret. <laughs> has actually well no actually he's rocking early it. on it should be uh, true, true because of the snow but late like uh we're, we're in the last book now in but oh, God. the witch <laughs> has two spells that one's called named bullet and greater named yep. Bullet. Yep. Yep. Yeah. Yep. they're insane yep. it's great i cast these spells and then he just annihilates stuff until you run into something that is immune to criticals, and then the spell does nothing. Yeah. But, but still, I, I it is something else. That's what my bow. witch was doing with her her rifle, because I took one level of gunslinger to get just proficiency with the um, yeah, with the gun. And once I had named bullet, like that was kind of like my my modus operandi. Yeah. But it was nice having like hexes and stuff too to like do supporty things. I played an archaeologist bard in that game. That was a fun, fun character, actually. Yeah, my I... my magus was so freaking powerful with name bullet because I got it off the wizard spell list with the magus arcana. Yeah. I, I actually like... think that oh there's God. a lot of multi classes that you can make work if you know the system well enough. Yeah, for sure. I think. Uh... I think I would enjoy playing an archaeologist bard again someday, but I probably would try something a little different. Like I think, I think uh, if you get a reach weapon onto an archaeologist bard, I think it would actually be really fun. So okay, are are we like settling on these classes? I heard cleric, I heard swashbuckler, and I heard no, no, no. I'm playing a swashbuckler-like archetype of paladin. 
that okay. loses spell casting. He, he's he's a pally. I lose spell casting though, so don't expect me to do much besides lay on hands. I guess Pluto, what are you playing? I was playing an investigator. An investigator. Yeah. So you're gonna be like high int, right? Correct. Yeah, it'll be a high int. All the and knowledge then for skills. Zerdurium. I'm guessing you're going strength and charisma. Well, I guess yeah, actually, I assume you, so. If you had gone rogue, it would have probably been okay because I this I'm playing an archetype that gives up the trap, uh, trap finding, and the thing lets you disable magical traps. So we won't have. Okay. I, I can take disable device, but I won't be able to disable magical traps. It's uh, so you have a swashbucklerly like archetype for paladin. So does it still have like parry? It has repost? parry repose, and it gives up spell casting, and that's I haven't read enough of it yet. That's the gist of it. Yeah, yeah. kind of tanky. Doing. I'll be kind of tanky, yeah. And I guess Star Fox, are you going like? I'll definitely you, be someone going, who like, can open doors. Cleric? Yeah, I'll be I'll be caster cleric. Yes, I'm going to be taking a bunch of support spells if I can pull it off. What, what about you, Pluto? Like in combat, like is your investigator going to be like a like a dexy or a strength based, and or are they going to stay uh, not fight? It's definitely going to be dex based. I mean, I'll probably go in, but just yeah, I mean, it's probably not going to be great. <laughs> it's it's going to be weaker than Unchained Rogue in uh, combat. Because, like, Studied Strike is all right, but, yeah. like Oh, do we need more of a frontliner? That's what I was trying to figure out, because I could make it the Shaman, like, a secondary frontliner. Shaman works really well as a secondary frontliner. Because I, I could play around with a War Priest if we needed something like that. I'm not asking you to do War Priest. I just wasn't sure if I wanted to give my shaman like a bunch of strength so that he could melee, or yeah. if I should just throw this mostly into wisdom and and con. So he's just like he's hard to kill. Mm, Pluto, your investigator going to be like melee frontlinery, right? Nope, not really. I mean, oh, okay. I don't think you can really build investigator to be that good as a melee frontliner anyway. I don't think. Of uh, Tor did. He treated it a lot like a rogue. Well, he's a. I mean, investigator is a alchemist rogue hybrid. Yes. Right. You just got offensive mean, defense. Can you even take that on? I'm sure you your... can get root talents. Well, yes, but you don't get sneak attack. So many of the ones that work with sneak attack don't actually like. Well, maybe like there's a steady okay. strike like variant. Yeah, I think maybe. there's a sneak attack. Oh, you get studied strikes. I see. They're not. I uh, okay. I understand. Yeah, like and, and study strikes. Like all right, you can do. I mean, you could. You can probably build an okay. Like because one of the things you can do with it, for example, as long as you aren't baited into using. Um, because there's what is it? Studied strike, but there's also. Or whatever. There's there's the studying part of it, and then there's like the um the thing that lets you like remove your study to do like a bunch of precision damage but like it's kind of a trap like you probably should just keep the flat bonuses i see yeah um because once you use it it removes it and you have to take a move action to study again um so like i guess if you wanted to use it every time you could just play it on like a vital strike build although that's also not very good because you're not a full bab so you're gonna get vital strike at like level eight like Oh, yeah, so, I like, guess I do need charisma as a shaman. You need it for secondary features. Yeah. Okay. Depends on what spirits you want to use. But... Yeah. Is there like you can be charisma or you can be wisdom? Well, wi spirits? Well, wisdom is what the class is like typically based on. But there's like secondary abilities like within the spirits that run off of charisma. Yeah. It there's depends also... on if you pick a charisma spirit or a wisdom spirit, though. There's even, uh, like, the lore spirit, I think, scales off your intelligence, <laughs> which is another curveball in there. Oh, I don't remember seeing that one. That's interesting. The lore spirit's the one that lets you get wizard spells. It's pretty yeah, good. Yeah, that's, uh, that's pretty good. But it need, you get, like, the amount of spells you can grab from there is based off your intelligence, I believe. So I'm I'm not gonna be that tanky because the the 
Swashbuckler Pally has to be like no armor or light armor, but I'll be effectively tanky with the parry ability. Yeah, it's not as just uh... get dodge bonuses. Yeah, I mean I can't. Well, I mean, have... I'm going to be more. I want high attack because that's how parry works. I think they also so... do get dex to damage as well, if I'm remembering right. Yeah, Although all your AC not. is going to be in your deck. Uh, you might have to, have to look. You might have to take like the slashing grace feed or something like that. And then just have somebody reduce person and you get that size bonus. Yeah, it's very nice. Okay, let's see. Da, da, da. Yeah, maybe you don't get it. You get yeah, it. I don't see it. I think you have to take a feat. Would you say it's like slashing grace or something? Um, that would be one of the ways to do it. Yeah. There's something called dervish dance that's dex to damagey. I thought. That's only with a scimitar, but yes. Okay. The that's what I could use. I want to put most of my points. I think. Casting stats. I know when I was looking at doing it, I was going to do it as a paladin of Shaylin. Um, kind of like Albanius was, yeah. actually. But And he was going to be with a glaive, because you could take the slashing grace. Or no, what is it called? A uh, bladed brush, rather, which is a exclusive for Sharon, uh, Shaylin paladins. Oh, okay. Um, which would let you apply anything for weapon finesse to your glaive. Yep. And then when you when I would do that, I think then it would take I would use slashing grace because then slashing grace actually applies to it. And then you get dex and damage as well. Okay. Yeah, I mean I'm not gonna just like take the build you're gonna do, but I'll see if I can get dex yeah. damage and make it cool and feel free. I don't mind. I'm probably there's so many different builds in Pathfinder, I'll probably never get a chance to play it anyway. Okay, well, oh yeah, I have to go, you know, digging through the the archives. Yeah, I mean, it could also just be one of those cases where you don't get dex to damage, but you have smite evil, so... Yeah, so it doesn't really matter. I'm still a paladin with parry. It's mm -hmm. pretty good. Oh no, I have to have some strength set. Disaster. That, that means I have to have a carrying capacity, Pluto. <laughs> Wait. Mm, yeah. I want to be the no carry capacity character like I always do. I'm just over here converting your numbers into cards. <laughs> it's taking a long time. Not that any of it matters until next week, but I I want to make a script. I want to want to want to give a good Haro reading. You know, I was a witch once when I was a teenager, so I thought I was. I uh, I uh, practiced that good old uh, witchcraft called Wicca. Mm -hmm. I have books still on it. But once I realize that this shit don't work, then yeah, no, we don't, we don't, we don't practice that no more. But because it doesn't work. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, how do you know work. if you don't try it? You know. I did try it. That's the thing. Yeah, no, that's what I'm saying. You had to try because you didn't know. <laughs> yeah. Like if it worked, it would be amazing. Yeah, no, no, science, science, not witchcraft, science. Would would a hobgoblin be out of place in Corvosa? Uh, I mean. You could be there again. You're the dude that you guys are going to kill is a very gritty, nitty gritty, crime lordy kind of duder. So just have a reason to hate him is all well, you need. <laughs> but uh, but is a cob goblin going to be out of place in Corvosa? I Maybe mean, a bit, but yeah, it's a big enough city. It probably. No, I'm pretty sure it would turn some heads based on what I've read. The I mean, of course, it probably would. Yeah, but you could conceive of I could see a hobgoblin existing. And yeah, Corvosa. like there's, you know, 
your friends are gonna be humans, but you know, yeah. <laughs> you can be the only hobgoblin in school. It's okay. <laughs> you probably don't have a lot of friends as a hobgoblin. Yeah. But the ones you do have are human. It's true. <laughs> Especially you guys, because you're all playing human. Well, how about a kobold? Ooh, I love kobolds. Why? <laughs> yes. Oh, this is funny. Kobolds are great. All the racial traits that actually fit with my build are all the, you know, the goblinoid, monstrous races. Ooh, yeah. minus four strength. Constitution. You don't have to have a reason or, like, you don't have to exist in the city of Corvosa. You could just be visiting. So, like, yeah, you're going to turn some heads, but, it, like, you know, you're not going to incite, like, a mob of pitchforks and yeah. stuff. So, you know. Kobold's or stats are just too brutal, man. I, I, I like kobolds, but the, their stats are are brutal uh, most of these uh, traits do imply you grew up in corvosa the couple i don't know but... but yeah but you don't have to like, you could it's... be you could do the framed one or or uh you could be the hobgoblin boy that your parents had to hide from society or else they'd find out that you're not a human oh you are homeschooled actually but i've already done that twice oh well, no, sorry, I'm just talking. There's a cat folk. Cat folk actually have the exact racial trait that I'm looking for, but I'm not going to do that again. <laughs> you've done a you've done enough cat folk characters now. Yeah. You don't want to have to deal with us calling or uh, calling your new character Nematep all the time. Yes. Or uh, before Nematep, it was Kepri. Yeah. Yeah, I kept calling Nematep Kepri. <laughs> yeah. It's, uh, Sorry, Nimitip. It's actually funny because I was listening to the um, the Find the Path Mummy's Mask podcast, and they have a character. It's not. It's one of the NPCs who's like connected to the main character's named Kepri. So every time they mentioned that, I was like, oh, "Yeah, <laughs> we had a character who wasn't actually named Kepri, but who our GM kept calling Kepri because <laughs> yeah. it was related related to a Kepri." You guys are like, "Who the fuck is Kepri?" <laughs> Um, I think Matt might have done it too, because yeah, Matt. Knew. Well, at the beginning, yes. Yeah. So I wasn't in that game, so it did not happen to me. But you guys, I think I, I think it. I might have done it once, just because you know, following everyone else. Get, get it? Kept, kept repeating it. <laughs> but I didn't have any any reason to, because I wasn't in that uh, game either. But yeah. <sighs> diminished spellcasting. Don't want that. There's a cleric archetype with diminished spellcasting. What? Yeah, it's called the cloistered cleric. It's like a. That's the that's the archetype that uh, Drew played. In it's kind of Jones. bardish. It it gains a whole yeah. bunch of like the bardish knowledge abilities. That that was um, that was uh, Father Reinhardt. Huh. I didn't even realize that it had diminished oh, spellcasting. I, I miss Drew so much. Where's he been these days? Like. Off the fucking grid. Yeah, I I haven't talked to him and seen him in a long time. Would he go do an acting job or something? No, just like when, like I know he was playing with us like during COVID, but like all throughout COVID, like he he's basically like stayed at his place on his ranch and not left. Huh. Yeah, and I obviously I've spoken to him since and uh, since we stopped playing Hell's Rebels. Yeah, I mean I I have spoken to him, but it's been like close to a year, and like I don't know, there's some there's some stuff going on too. Yeah. Yeah, it's kind of one of the reasons why, like, I wish I could we could go I could go back to uh, Hell's Rebels, but it's like, oh, man, like Drew, Drew's character is. I know he's not in the party anymore because he died, but like, I wanted there to be more like story stuff concerning him, and I can't not think of Drew if we go to back to that that game. So, okay, I lost the streaming template for it anyway, so I would feel super sad.
<laughs> I mean, it's been long <laughs> enough. Making a new one would probably be in order anyway. Ugh. No, I did the same thing with that one. I just cut out the frames from the PDF. Yeah. I think I still have uh, a mod, like the character sheet. But yeah, it'd be cool. If, it's cool to play that game again. But I know we were we had two more books left in that. We were two thirds of the way through. Yeah. I think. I'd at least like to conclude it someday. One of these days. Maybe. I, st yeah. I have my Paladin saved. That That's my OneDrive saves that, so I don't have to worry about it. Just, that it just ever. feels kind of sucky to me to do it without Drew. Or yeah. like to go back to it and like me thinking about Drew. Aww. Can relate, can relate. Oh man, I've got like the I've got the most boring but meta um stat like spread for my shaman here. <laughs> boring. We went the uh whatchamacallit, um I went fourteen strength, fourteen con, fourteen wisdom, fourteen charisma, and then took two out of intelligence and put the two into like decks with a little bit of like uh you know reflex and stuff for that and my final stats are just 14 12 14 8 16 14 uh one i'm looking at right now is well part of why i was saying it's gonna be bad at combat <laughs> 11 13 14 17 12 12 that's what i have staring at right now but i was thinking of dropping the 17 and putting it in the decks Get up to that fourteen at least. Don't know. It probably doesn't make that much of a difference though. Like I'm not really planning for this guy to be like a combat focus. This is probably gonna be more like a Nizzo kind of character, to be honest. Yeah, sure. So they'll have a little bit more utility because, like, like I said, I'm I'm probably gonna take the infusion extract and be able to like give people um, extracts. The, uh, the out of combat utility. Mm -hmm. Well, some of it could be like combat buffs too, but yeah, that's important. We still need characters that could move the story along. Mm -hmm. I mean, my my character actually does have a little, that have some charisma, so uh, he'll have intimidate due to the um. The uh the little campaign trait giving him a bonus and the the thing as a a class skill. Yeah. But yeah, I'll need somebody to diplomacy. Um, uh, actually, I can do diplomacy. I'm going to have a high charisma. I'll have diplomacy as well because okay. I'm an investigator. Your paladin as well. Paladin? Also, I'll have actually the paladin will be. Yeah. Paladin will have charisma as well. Yeah, we'll probably have. Lots of good charisma people. Also, my best skill is going to be sense motive. I'm taking the profiler archetype. So I get to add inspiration to sense motive for free, and also get to add half my class level to all sense motive checks. So I'll be, I'll be really good at, at knowing if people are telling the truth, in theory, <laughs> at least. But I'm planning to have uh, points in diplomacy and stuff too. I think I can use inspiration on it too. What does uh, inspiration apply to? It's maybe not. Maybe it isn't diplomacy. Not there are uh, bonus things you can get that make your inspiration apply to more things. Yeah, I know that. Okay. Uh, but it applies. To, I think by default it's just like knowledge checks, linguistics, and spellcraft, which I don't even know. Sounds how to right. Spellcraft. But I get to do it for sense motive as well for free because of my archetype. That's yep. one thing. Empiricist. No, I'm not doing that one. I'm doing uh, oh, profiler. Okay. So I think I got that from one of those too. Empiricist is really cool because one of them. Because empiricist lets you do like, do like all like diplomacy, sense motive, and perception. I think, but it turns them into int based skills. So you can just hyper focus intelligence and. 
still be super perceptive. I'm not going to do that, but I have some abilities and like I have 12 wisdom at the moment. Maybe I'll bump that up though. I don't know. Um, this link that you gave us, is it unhappy childhood? Just that. I'm just now. You're uh, not talking about my link, are you? No, I'm talking about mine. Okay, that's like my my link is uh pretty good. Huh, weird. Yeah, I can't find these traits in Hero Lab. Oh, well, I have them in Hero Lab. I wonder if you just don't have the check mark for the source. Uh, yeah, I'll check, check the source maybe. Because I got Curse of the Crimson Throne, Addicted Friend, All Alone, Dockside Avenger, Dropout, Family Honor, so on and so forth. But not these ones. Oh, just that. Is there a different edition? Well, yeah, I think so. Because these ones are... Like, there's ones from the original player's guide uh, back in 2008. But, yeah, I think there might... This one might be listed... At, this one might be under, like, web we supplement or something like that. should be selecting ones from the current player's guide. Yeah, that's what I did. I selected... I have yeah. missing sibling, but not missing child. I don't have love lost. Missing son or daughter. Appears in Curse of the Crimson Throne. Appears in Curse of the Crimson Throne. Weird. Hmm. Okay. Well, worst case, uh, just add a custom one, and then you yeah, can go that's and what have you to can do. do it under um, the personal tab for permanent adjustments and put a trait bonus or whatever you're needing to put in there. Oh, wait. Okay. So missing child underneath it is subsection missing sibling or missing son or daughter. Oh, maybe. Okay. Love lost all alone or orphaned. Ah, uh, okay. 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 I see. I see. I'm looking the right. Uh, so unhappy childhood is either religious or tortured. I see how this is going. Uh, religious. There we go. Oh, it's like a drop down menu. Well, in the feats, the in the campaign traits in that list it has a title and then every title has two subheadings uh, you I choose you. one of the two subheadings so yep. i was looking at the the title uh, but it's all good i found it uh just off chance does anybody know of any archetype which switches wisdom to charisma for your casting stat for a cleric Ooh, I don't know if that exists. I don't know the, the thing that consolidates it. Okay. Because I know with Wizard, there's a lot of things that change intelligence to something else. Try Wizard. That doesn't change. That's still intelligence. Oh, is it? Dang it. Or, yeah, no, sorcerer. Sorry, that might be things. Sorcerer. 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 Yeah, there's, yeah. There's, uh, it's very easy to change Sorcerer to Wisdom or Int-based. I mean, it's, a, it's a single bloodline basically for each of them uh, wild, for wild blooded but the basic sorcerer is charisma um, um actually just a sec here is there an oracle that channels uh I believe there's an archetype there might be okay just a sec let me let me investigate this here if nothing else hey leave the investigating to Pluto <laughs> that's true if nothing else, I think you could do the the oracle that gets um, access to spirit shamans or uh, whatever uh, shaman spirits rather, and you take the life spirit. And I think they can channel. So I think you could do that. Um, Oracles are charisma based, or is there... they're they're charisma based? They are charisma. Okay. So it's not a core class feature. It's one of their mysteries that would give them yeah i think uh, i think some of the mysteries might depending on which um which one you take like maybe okay. if you take the life mystery um yeah if you take the life mystery for example as a oracle you can get channel you can channel positive energy like a cleric i don't know if that does what you're looking at doing. yeah it's specific but positive mm -hmm. hmm. So I don't know if they have like a uh, right have one that does negative energy instead. Maybe. But you're wanting to be able to channel offensively, I think, right? Yes, that is correct. 
in my um, Hell's Vengeance game at low levels, our cleric channeled negative energy on occasion, on more than one occasion. And it was doing enough that got me thinking about whether or not that's something that would actually be reasonable at mid to higher levels. He switched uh, over to playing a... At higher levels. He switched over to a Hell Knight, so he never pursued his channeling all the way up. I know it's only half level, but it is against Wisdom, which is not often a strong stat. But then again, yeah, it's only half levels. Uh, but anyway, we'll see. Because as a caster, one of the things is, even if the whole channel thing doesn't work out, I'm still a spell caster, and I can just cast my normal spells. You know, there's some feats, too, that can make it fairly, like, action economy efficient, too. Like, as you get higher levels, you can take quick channel and do it as a move action, and then cast a spell, too. Like, yes. There's some, there's some fun stuff you can do there. And, like, sure, the numbers aren't very high, but it's like, well, yeah, but if you're doing that, and then also casting, like, two spells at high level, like, who cares if the damage is only, like, is fairly low? You're doing that on top of all this other shit. That's why I was looking at, like, some of the racial abilities, um, your favorite class bonus. Uh, the cat folk, although that was third party, admittedly. But the kobolds, you get plus one to your channel damage dice to creatures that are caught flat-footed. So as long as you go quickly, you get bonus yep. damage on your channel. And then the hobgoblin got plus one half of your level per die on any type of negative energy you do inflict spells or channel but that's why i was looking at those mm -hmm. uh, but again yeah we'll see if this works i don't mind if i default to casting shield of faith on everybody blesses prayers those are all <laughs> good yeah Yeah, so I'm like my character's probably gonna be like I'm playing him as kind of like a support character, but not he's not gonna be a combat powerhouse by any means. Well, we'll, we'll have three support characters buffing the paladin. Yeah, it sounds great to me. Wonderful. Right up, right up to the point where the paladin fails a saving throw and gets paralyzed or something, and it's like no. Uh, yeah, but he's a paladin. He won't. Yes, save a saving throw. paladin. Saves, he doesn't. So. Yes, that's right. You got paladin. <laughs> He's that is the, correct. He's divine grace. It's fine. That is correct. At least I think he gets divine grace. I don't know I, if I that not, gives I it know. up. I haven't read through it all yet. All right. But yeah, Secret, I'll get you like a little write up of my character uh, probably sometime later this week. Uh, it won't be too complicated. I kind of already got yeah. this pretty solidified. Yeah. Uh, Pluto, I will DM you if I am interested in doing shared backstory stuff. We can talk if you want. Sure. Like I said, if you wanna, if you wanted to go along, I've kind of got mine set. So if you want to latch onto it, feel free. And if not, yeah. If I, I, I have to good. read through the player's guide and see if I'm inspired. And if not, then I you. will use your inspiration dice. Yeah, I don't know if you're wanting to, uh, to have your character be like, oh, he's he's a father and he's trying to get his kid back. But... No, but I'd be helping. Maybe, like maybe uh, you're yeah. you're like a private eye, but maybe I'm like another person that was hired. It's possible. He hired maybe. he's he wants his kid back so much he hired two people. And they have to work <laughs> together. Well, see that's the thing. I was having to be where it's like someone came in and he's first he's like oh I can't do it because you don't have any money to pay me, but then he ends up doing it anyway because he feels bad. So she doesn't have any money. She can't actually hire anybody. Oh, okay. But he just or, can't. Yeah, he can't. Yeah, we'll, we'll see. He has we'll to talk. do it because because he was like she cried about it, and he's like, oh, I can't, I have to help her now. I can't say no to a woman's tears. Also, I was thinking of that's all him it takes. Having, just cry. Yeah, for for this particular uh, private eye detective, yes. 
<laughs> I was thinking as well, it'd be funny if he has like he has like a secretary that he never pays and he's like, Oh, don't worry about it, I'll pay it after the next big job. That could be <laughs> Zerdarium. <laughs> he's the <side. laughs> He could be my secretary. Let me think never about gets this. Paid. And I'm, I'm actually so you're, like you're really following along, just hoping to get paid. You're like, by golly, I'm gonna make sure this well succeeds so I can get paid. The funny thing, I was thinking it it'd be funny if like the secretary like she actually just is there because she has like a crush on him or something like that. But oh. wait, why do I have to be a she? Well, because you're my secretary, and that's just how it oh. is. That's okay, you don't, so... you don't want to be a she. You don't want to be... be my secretary, then. <laughs> Wait, Only I women can, be can apply the for the secretary show. that has He's a in drag. He's character. actually in drag. <laughs> <laughs> that would actually be pretty uh, funny. That would actually also be funny if he was just a guy in drag. Yeah. Like the the role play of it would be kind of funny. E yeah. Like either way. Anyway, yeah, that was that was uh, the NPC. This oh, yeah, I was originally notes. playing it, but yeah, we'll see if I what I want. Be kind of strange if if my secretary was actually a paladin, but you know, stranger things have happened on Galarian. <laughs> All right. So, huh. sorry, just the way that, that talking there, I was thinking, what if, like, you are playing support class. I was just thinking of the uh, the secretary that is like really competent. So like taking a swashbuckler or maybe even just a, a, some sort of straight fighter. But both of us take a whole bunch of the teamwork feats. And so while you you are like the the leader and being all big and flashy. All you're doing is just allowing the secretary to trigger all of her actual melee combat. Like, she's the one doing all the melee combat, and you're just allowing all of the teamwork feats to trigger while you're supporting the secretary doing all the physical hard lifting. Uh, anyway, just the way that that discussion was going. This kind of sounds like Inspector Gadget, but like that young yeah, yeah, girl yeah. Like does everything. Penny. Yeah. yeah, Penny and yeah. Brain. Exactly. There's a, uh, what is it? There's like a, um, I think there's a Slayer archetype that does something like that where you give like a bunch of teamwork feats. Uh, I think there's a Brawler one that does that too. There's a few of those where you like get a, get a bunch of teamwork feats and then you can like share them. And that's the important one because I know the um, Inquisitor. The Inquisitor gets a whole bunch of teamwork feats, but yeah, they get solo tactics. They don't give them to other people. They they just trigger them off of other people, but they yes. they're not. Yeah. And I mean, obviously, the other way you can give teamwork feats if you take the tribe spirit, which we have a shaman who could, who could take the tribe spirit. Or can you do it with Animal Companion with certain stuff? Uh, yeah. There's a fighter uh, archetype that lets you yeah. do that as well, for example. Well, doesn't the Slayer allow the that? Hunter, like the companion, I think the Hunter. Hunter, yeah. Your companion hunter automatically class. gains your feats. Yep, the Hunter class gets to do some stuff like that, too, I think. Yeah. Hunter is Hunter's pretty, a pretty cool class that I've, I haven't ever played, but I've heard like I've heard that it's really fun. That it's like, a, if you want to play like a animal companion focused class, like that's that's the one. Do that. So one of the things people are talking about, like the ranger, like oh, ranger is kind of like if you want to play the combat. I love the forest, version, but not you direct. play you play a slayer, and if you want to play the animal companion stuff, you play a hunter. If you want a favored terrain, then you play ranger. <laughs> I guess I don't know. Rangers, rangers like still they get okay, some cool but... uh, weapons or like. The feet tree stuff that they it's get just harder. It's it's not as commonly played these days. I feel like because there's like a lot of classes that'll do stuff that the slayer or that the ranger does. Just the ranger is like very generalist, though. Yeah. In sense. But, yeah. But there's like a lot of times, like a lot of times, people will be like, "Well, I want to do this part of the ranger. I want to have ranger combat styles. I'll just play a slayer and take ranger combat styles because I don't care about the casting, the you know, the fourth level casting or the." Animal companion, and if you like the if you like the animal companion in the in the um in the casting, you can go hunter and have six level casting instead, and still have the animal companion. Um, it won't be as good a melee combat, I guess. So, and then even like 
you know, they have the shifter now even, which is sort of like a mar full martial druid as well. So, although I've heard that that class is pretty weak, <laughs> so I haven't actually played it, but when I looked at it, it looked okay. I was like, it's probably fine. I think the Oozmorph one looked really bad, but the rest looked fine. I saw the... I still have to make the character, but I think this I think this will work. I think it's pretty much built. Yeah, I still gotta pick like feats, but um Yeah, there's no Oracle that looks like it's gonna fit so yeah, I'll just stick with Cleric. Yeah, I mean Oracle if you do want to consolidate into Charisma, that's the that's the class to play, but I don't know, for some reason Oracle doesn't feel as like uh Oracle feels a lot more restrictive than, like, Sorcerer does. I like Oracle, but it's, uh... Yeah. I had a lot of fun on Oracle. It's definitely... Even though it's got the Cleric spell list, it doesn't... It feels very different from Cleric. Yeah. Whereas I feel like Sorcerer and Wizard feel more similar. Like comparatively, then at least they do, but like, I mean, the whole like difference in like spell slots and stuff like that does make them play very differently. Yeah, for sure. Cleric still, like, if you go to play Oracle, you still get a little bit of Cleric in that, like, you could prepare a bunch of, or not prepare, but, like, you could cast a bunch of, like, cure spells, but, like, you can still also still sort of do that as a Cleric, because you can just cast anything spontaneously into a, a cure spell. So, yeah, I don't think they're as, Cleric and Oracle aren't, like, they don't play as differently as, like, Sorcerer to Wizard does. Yeah, you're right, because as an oracle, as long as you take Cure Light Wounds as one of your spells, it basically you have it on hand to cast whenever you need. Yeah. It's just, it's one of your, what, like, two spells to begin with, or three? Mm -hmm. Well, as an oracle, you should just get access to the Cure spells if you channel, if you work with positive energy. But that's not unlike a cleric that if you channel positive energy, you can spontaneously cast cure. Oh, I gotta find artwork for this guy too. Oh no. Oh yes, that's something also I need before game time. I need your guys' characters' portraits. If you can have like as minimal of a background as possible, because I'm gonna cut their head out, and you know, if you can get a PNG version of it, that's great. If not, I'll make it happen. You want PG portraits? Okay. No, no R rated. Oh, that's up to you. Dude. Oh, I completely forgot about domains. I get domains. Mm hmm. One of the nice things about clerics. In fact, if I take the healing domain, I can alleviate some of my cure issues. Okay. 
Do we know how we're meeting up? At no. the tavern, of course. No, you guys do not know how you're meeting up. Okay. Every campaign starts in the being in... strangers is perfectly legit. Just as long as you're you have as long as you have a trait that wants to to deal with Gadrin. 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 Yeah. Yeah. Because well, hiring a yeah. private eye to find out more information about how this guy killed my my lover would make sense. Yeah, my my character is going to be like very um what you call it? Like he he's an ex Shawanti because he he fell in love with a Corvosan woman who was passing through the Cinderlands like maybe like from an adventure. Um and like he basically stopped practicing his shamanism, but his his flame spirit sensed his passion and told him to follow his heart so he he left uh the cinderlands and his qua to go live in corvosa and i i would say that he's been living in it for a little while now and has grown to is grown accustomed to the civilization mm -hmm. but now that his lover was murdered He's like, I have to recommune with the spirits and find out like who did it and like exact vengeance. That's so fine. As long as you are in the city on a specific date, yeah, yeah, anything will work. Oh, jeez, it's like I'll try. I'll just try plugging in some stuff and do an AI art generator. And oh they no! Gave me one. <laughs> it looks it looks pretty reasonable except for some reason he's got he, you know he's got a, he's got the right hat for it but they made the hat really tiny so he's he's just got this tiny hat on his head <laughs> it looks so stupid otherwise it was reasonable i could i could almost use that portrait <laughs> well i'm done interpreting well not interpreting but i'm done figuring out what all your cards are oh good so that was a process no, I just need to interpret it for y'all. But yeah, if you guys can get me some sort of backstory, a paragraph, two paragraphs. Are we doing background traits or background skills and yeah. um and like the other traits? Other traits? What? Like we we usually like like are we picking two traits and one of them is the campaign trait? Yeah, that's, that's my fine. Two traits yeah. and a campaign trait. That's fine. Or, well, one trait and a Wait. campaign trait. Huh? Which, the way it normally is. A two traits, it's, one it's is a campaign two trait. Yeah, yeah, okay. okay. Yeah. yeah. Unless you bring a drawback, which is fine. Nobody does. Nobody does that. Well, that's not true. William did that. I did that on my, uh, I did that on Isaiah, I think, actually. No. No, I did it on Araxi, actually. Or actually had the the xenophobe trait, which or background or whatever, uh, what do you call yeah, it? Racist mermaid. Yeah, oh, yeah, and what was what was hilarious about it is is it basically was always an effect because it made it so that it had a penalty on like diplomacy and sense motive for people that weren't merfolk, which was basically everybody in, like literally everybody we encountered. We talked <laughs> with we talked with one non merfolk in the entire campaign, and I didn't have to roll any dice. When was that? When my we interacted with my master's a room. Oh, okay. When okay, I was like, <laughs> I don't remember like there being any merfolk in the camp. Oh no, there were saying like, yeah, like you go back to your master like for the final part to like get more like information and like him yeah, telling I you think, you've you've done it, Araxi. I think I went back at one point and bought like a scroll from as well, like really late in the game when I was able to teleport. Is I went there and bought like a scroll from from the merfolk city <laughs> but yeah yeah and like early on i talked to him as well because like he actually got a hold of me and i was like well stay there and keep investigating you kind of thing yeah but, yeah <laughs> but it wasn't anything that was written in the second darkness there were no merfolk in second darkness. yeah there, there were none <laughs> the closest thing to that was is there was actually an aboleth which did kind of that was kind of the tie-in for why araxi stayed in because it was it all dealt with aboleth magic so yeah well, that was why she was interested in like seeing everything through, even after her master got a hold of her and was like, "Well, we could get reunited, but how about you keep looking into that? Because that sounds 
important. Mm-hmm. Okay, well, I think we're pretty much done, right? I, we know what our homework is. God, yeah. I did it again. It just okay. loves to make it just loves to make the hat super tiny and awkward looking. Say big hat and see what happens. Right, or I can tell it with no <laughs> hat. Okay, bye bye. All right, see ya. Are bye. you doing Good the night. AI night. or? Yeah. Excuse so make flow. it without the hat and then evolve it with a hat. I don't know if this one gives me the option to do that. I'm probably using um, a different engine than you were using, though. How, how do you Star use AI art program? Star... Just go Google I'm, it. AR. I'm using artflow.ai. Uh, artflow is okay. Yeah, it allows you to evolve. So afterwards, just hover your mouse over some of those options. One of them should be to evolve it. That's how they get better, because the, the first version of it is never, never good. Um, but this one depends on what, if I use their old engine, I can actually, it gives credits. me some sliders. Yeah. But if, if, I, if I am in the version 2, there is no button for that. Yeah. I can just tell it to generate again. But this one, like, this one doesn't look too bad. Um... Yeah, I've had some success with art flow, but it's like, you know, sometimes it'll it find something where it's like the first one they give me. I'm like, yeah, that's great. And then I feel like if it doesn't give me on the first try, it's going to be it's like, OK, here we go. And then and then it struggles. Like it, either, it feels like it's very binary, either either I can get it by giving them like a prompt or it doesn't know what I'm talking about. Um, I use tons of words. Like a lot of people are like, "Oh no, just give it a sentence." Yeah. Until it... No, no, you use a, just a uh, shitload of keywords. It. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, and you. But add also more use, to you. um, like use keywords like deviant art and like if you want it like high oh, quality yeah, yeah. or um, I don't know. Like, there's word I... suggestions. Some of those have some pretty good things that you can. One of the first ones I did when I found this site is I put in one to give me a thing of for Fran. I just wrote Jim Bro Pathfinder Blonde Monk. And they gave me yeah. like a they gave me a pretty good picture, uh, very similar to the one I was using already, which wasn't an AI one as far as I know. It was just one that I stole off the internet from like somebody's account, DeviantArt or something. But, um, but yeah, the only thing that was different on this one is it was like an older. So it's like if I played Fran as like an older person, then I might I might use this one. He had like a beard, but otherwise it was like it was like that's pretty spot on. That's how I picture Fran looking. Um, and the one I'm using in Mantis's current campaign is actually from from this uh, website as well. But I think that one took a few tries, but not too many. Yeah, there was the first one I made, and then... All right. Good night, guys. Good night. Good night. We'll see you in a couple of weeks. Good night. I guess, yeah, yeah we'll I... end here. <laughs> yeah, I ended up going with, like, the second one it gave me for Aris.